Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Moving at Home with Move at Marion, live from the Domain Theater at the Marion Cultural Center. Today is Tai Chi Day with Fong and Luke from Meridian Connection Tai Chi. If you've been following along, you know last week we did Bling Bling Tai Chi. And I didn't get the message from Fung that we actually weren't doing bling bling Tai Chi today. So I did not want to be outdone by Fung and her beautiful earrings. So I came better prepared this morning. And when I found out we weren't doing it, I thought, look, this is a great time for me to show off, so I'll keep it on. So welcome this morning. You're in for a fantastic session. We're back to rainy Friday. We had a couple of rainy Fridays, then a beautiful Friday last week, and now back to rainy Friday. But that's all okay, because you're cozy in your house, and there shouldn't be any problem for you uh, in terms of the rain. Just a few little tips, safety tips. Please look around you at the moment and make sure you have a clear space in which to do your Tai Chi this morning. Make sure there's no lamps you can knock over, or small children or pets under your feet or rugs that you can trip on. Just make sure you've got a good clear space for you to do your Tai Chi this morning. We also recommend that if you haven't been active for a while or if you suffer from any chronic uh, diseases or if you have any past or present injuries that you consult with your doctor prior to taking up exercise and that includes our session today. And finally, please exercise within your own limits. Listen to your body and don't put any undue strain on your body. That's all for me today, for now. I'm gonna turn it over to these two people. Enjoy your session, I will see you afterwards. Thank you, Laura. Yeah, that was really good, a safety tip, and I think it's really important for us to be aware of things around us, and also listen to our body while we're doing Tai Chi. Good morning. So now we're gonna start with our Tai Chi. Um, as always, you know, first of all is to just be aware of your body posture, how you stand, how you stand at this moment. So we're gonna start it with a little bit body awareness. So good standing. Sensing the crown reaching up to the ceiling or even further to the sky, relax your shoulders away from your earlobes. Make your chest sink slightly, sensing there's a hollow sensation through the chest. And then with your breath, you can feel that the flow going through your internal organs further down to the lower abdomen. If it's not today, if it's the first time, that's okay. Just be aware your breath. And relax your arms, just let them naturally hang there. See, there's no force, nothing there. Relax your hands, your fingers. Relax your hips, your buttock muscles. Be aware of your knees, how you straighten your knees. If you generally, gently, subtly release tension on your knees, you may have a natural curve just on your knees. And be aware the foot, the sole of your foot, connecting with ground. Keep your body upright, but at the same time, try to relax. Deep breathing through your lower belly. So once you have a good body standing posture, we're gonna start today's session. We're gonna gently take a step. So with feet, toes forward, shoulder width, and toes and knees facing in one direction. We're gonna bring our beautiful hands up. Good morning, Dolores and Wendy. Good to see you here. And we're gonna just start with our grasping chi. So breathe in and out. Gentle with your joints. At the same time, your intent works wonder, connecting the body together, the whole body and your breath. Breathe in and out, relax shoulders, relax your chest. Imagine that you can use this body posture, this beautiful upright body posture while you're doing all your daily uh, works, your house tools, you're picking up things from shelf, and I don't know, you grab something. So while you're deep breathing, keeping your body posture, it'll be really, really beneficial for you 
through your daily activities. Gentle swing, so you know where your center is. Sensing the front, the sole of the foot, the heel of the foot without losing your balance. You can do it as slow as you like and just follow your own pace. Once again, grasping chi, appreciate the air, appreciate the chi around us. The vital energy that we're grasping and bring into our body. One more. Breathe in, opening your hands and then grasping, gently holding, change to a fist. Exhale, in, out. Last one. And I start it with our fingers. So just see each finger, pay attention, take your time to do each one, no rush. And then once you're done, we're going to bend each one toward the center of the palm. So another exercise to activate your joints, release tension, and make this gentle stretching for those tendons that work very hard for you every day. Now it's time for them to relax, to be exercised. Last one. All right, wrists. So see the body posture keeping the body posture while you're doing your wrist rotation breathe in imagine your hands going through the water and then chop 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 exhale let it go like nothing happens just let it go inhale exhale and you still can keep your body swing through the whole exercise Imagine the hands, your fingers going through the water, sensing that gentle resistance. Swing your body within the water. Breathing through, half circle inhale, half circle exhale. Last one. Good morning, brother, and good morning, Jane. Good to see you here on this winning day, and you're doing exercise for yourself. Wonderful, wonderful. All right, now we're going to come in back and just focus on the center of the palm. There is an acupuncture point called Labor Palace Point. We're going to activate and we're going to stimulate the point, bring all the energy that we accumulate through that previous exercise into the hands and through the hands into our body, our heart and lungs. Good, Rob. Inhale and big exhale, big deep exhale in. Imagine this warmth current going through the body, like you're taking a nice shower. Top to toes, top to toes, running through, running through the whole body. Inhale and exhale, bending the knee just a little to sense that sinking sensation, relaxation. Once again, morning Tyson, good morning, Lynette. In and out, let it go, let that warmth, let that current, let that water flow through the whole body and expel through your feet. And last one. And then we're gonna move this intent through our heel up, through the trunk, head, then come into your hands. Imagine you're having a ball running and then you're gently pressing the ball under the water. So your mind intent comes through the heel, along the back and your head and then your hands. In, let the current flow through your body, this time from the back to the front. Inhale and exhale. And I'm keeping my hands together. So I'm doing some extra exercise with my wrists if you like. Otherwise, whatever comfortable for you. Inhale 
and exhale, let it go, let it go until your feet, last one, big inhale and deep long exhale, let it go, all right everyone, how are you feeling with your hands, get warm and your body start to sense a bit more energy flow, continue with our neck exercise, so good standing, be aware of your body posture at all time, it's really important, we create a space for the internal organs. We're stretching our vertebra, our spine, and in a good space. Okay, so turning the neck, inhale, exhale. Morning, Jenna, and good morning, Mike. Exhale, in and out. Breathe in, so drop your neck. No tension. If you can feel the tension, that's good too. That's why we're doing exercise here. Turning and exhale. Breathe in, let it go. Gently turn, exhale. This is an exercise not just good for your neck, but also improve your balance. There's some nerve system connected with your balance. So you're improving your balance by doing this. Back, inhale, exhale, and last one. Ah, feels good, feels good. Stretching gently on this side. And slowly turn your head back to the center. And check your body posture. Did you really relax your shoulders and chest while you're moving your neck? Okay, roll the shoulder up, coming up and grounding down. Let it go, see your hands? Your arm, I'm doing nothing. At the same time, through your shoulders, you active the muscles along your middle chest and grounding down, bending your knee, working the body together. Inhale and exhale. Grounding, sensing that, that, that grounding is going to your feet, the whole body. And Suzanne, good morning. Good to see you here with us. And the last one, coming up. And then really, really let it go by really knowing, you see? By observing, by being mindful, be aware everything happening within your body. And then once again, we change direction. So from the back, up, and then forward. You see the fingers do nothing. But at the same time, they're part of this awareness, the mindfulness, the relaxation through your body and through your exhale. And last one. Okay, so we did a little bit around our neck, shoulders. We're gonna come in with good body stance. You can make a little bit wider if you like. Depends on how your lower back strength is. And bring the hands to each side. I always see this is a mindful exercise. It's not just about just bring the arms up. Yeah, we all can do that but we're adding our intent. So our intent is to stretching through the heart and lung, middle chest, opening all the little internal joints along the shoulder, elbow, and wrist and two fingertips, and opening up and, and create a hollow sensation. And then what we do is we let it go. Inhale, exhale. Once again, so your fingers can reach if you're in your room. Let's imagine that you reach to each side of that wall, that wall. Once again, in and out. And bending your knee together with your body movement. So we are creating that whole body flow sensation. One more. And the last one. I'm gonna change, this time I'm gonna turn, so we're gonna active our spine. So imagine your arms like big elephant trunk, yeah? Soft, one piece, turn. And you don't have to turn really hard. You do what is comfortable and safe for you. The idea is to relax while you're turning and put no force and using your intent, working the whole body or listen to your body. Inhale, exhale, and last one. We're gonna continue this time. We're gonna to 
holding this into a like a bowl, yeah. So imagine you have a bowl. Maybe I'll ask you, look, your turn. Look, look, thank you. No, turn to the opposite. Yeah. So look, we'll be with your direction. So hopefully we're keeping our <laughs> okay. All right. So we change, turn to the left. So when you turn, you turn your body to the straight leg. And you're rolling to the straight leg. Bending the other leg. See, active massage your internal organs. Also active your lower back. Strengthening your knees. Doing everything at once. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Imagine, see the hands has a ball holding the ball and you are soft with your joints because you're doing everything in a circular way. There's no hush hush movement. While you are using your breath to go through the body, all the joints working or moving in a circular gentle way. So you're really, really doing your body and mind holistically. Inhale, exhale, in and out. And your eyes, you see your eyes? You can follow if you can. Follow your hands, that would be great. Because that's important. This, is a, this will improve your balance. Inhale, exhale, in, and last one, exhale. Then we're coming back. Look, you can keep there. Yeah, so we're gonna bring these hands to the waist and we're gonna start it with lifting the ball up. Morning, Maxine, good to see you. you enjoy your exercise. Coming up, inhale, exhale, pressing the ball gently under the water. So this is a good exercise to do your hips, exercise in your trunks. Breathe in and breathing out. I really can sense that my hands connect with the ball because we all know that air has weight. We all know there's so much more there. We may not know everything, but imagine and think about relationship between the fish and water, right? We're human, we're living within the air, within the universe, the nature. Inhale and we appreciate. Without it, we won't be here. And last one. Good morning, Meredith. Good morning, Steph. And then we change. So this time we're going to have a sunrise. And then we come in with sunset. Change using your trunk. Not much arm movement apart from your wrists. Using your trunk, using your hips. And the eye follow the hands if you can. Inhale, half circle, exhale. And really sensing the so much energy. So much energy while you're moving your body through. Okay, we we'll change. So this time hands to rest on your right and then you relax the left and then we're coming up again. Grounding down, grounding down. So imagine there's nothing but just the intent to press the ball under the water. Inhale. Exhale, relax shoulders. Make your chest sink slightly. Let it go. Once again. Slow. Enable you to put your mind and use your mind to lead your movement. And we change. Sunrise coming up. And see sun down under the sea. Once again, coming up, breathe in, and half circle, breathing out. Coming up, inhale, exhale. One more. And last one. And gently, gently, coming back to the center. And stay here for a second, just Check your body posture. Are you start to relax here or actually through the whole movement you've been relaxed or acknowledge your tension somewhere and try to relax a bit more. 
slowly stretching up and let it go with your hands. All right, that's a lots of legs movement. If you need to give yourself leg a shake and your arm as well. All right, now I'm gonna start with some. We did a lots of trunk, lots of spine, and now we're gonna to add our hips. Okay, so hands on. Give yourself a good body check once again. Your feet, knees, shoulder, your hips. So the body structures through the bone, bone alignment is so important. Once you have a good structure through your bone alignment, you don't have to do much with your muscle. You don't need the muscle to hold it. You just rely on your bones and relax the muscles. Okay, let's go. So gently turn, hip one direction, and then half circle inhale, and then half circle exhale. Ooh, how you feel? So nice stretching. Inhale, exhale. Relax the shoulders and active your hips. Your lower back, all the organs around the middle part of the body. Once again, inhale, exhale. Don't have to do a big one, small circle. Whatever you feel comfortable. Put your tension, put your intention here. And last one. And we change direction. Inhale. Exhale. Relax. If there's tension, we acknowledge the tension and we'll work with it. Use our breath to go through. And last one. Feels good. Feels good. So much warmth through this channel and now coming to the middle part. Now we're gonna continue making our body flow even further. Alright, so it's knee movement now. So what we're gonna to do today is we're gonna to use some balance exercise to active our knee, strengthening our lower body muscles. So we're gonna to do the punch. So hands change the fist and we just punch and punch. Punch. You don't have to, if you need to grab something for your balance, that's fine. And always making sure you're safe when you practice. And if you don't need to lift up so high, you can do lower and gradually building up the strength and your balance. Yeah. So inhale, exhale. Have a good strength on your leg. See, I have a good strength on my leg. I can do this. Once again, one more. And last one. Well done, everybody. And now we're gonna to change. This time we're gonna add in the flow, flowy, floating movement, energy into our movement. So we're gonna do the bounce in the ball. I'll probably ask Luke to change. Thank you, Luke. And then inhale, coming up, bending the knee, and then grounding down. So you rely on one leg. The idea is to really active everything, the whole body. Not just one leg, but your mind. See the mind with both hands, bouncing the ball, pressing the ball down. One leg supporting the body weight, another one coming up. With the hands together, grounding down. Inhale, exhale. As I said before, whatever is comfortable for you. You don't have to do so slow. Um, take your own pace. And you don't have to bend in so high if low is good for you. Inhale, exhale. So you try to breathe through the movement. And last one. Bouncing the ball, the ball up, up, and press down slowly. Okay, at the end, we're going to come here, big circle. Inhale and then let the flow go in through the whole body. Let it go, let go, let go through the body. All right, we're going to start it with our foot and the ankle. So hands this time. We did quite a few times here. This time I'm going to change to your abdomen. So bring the hands, hands overlap on your lower belly. So this time is kind of a nice test while you're doing the exercise. 
and also be aware of your breath as well. So good standing once again, bending the knee just a little. We transfer the body weight to one leg. You can stay here if you like. If you do this exercise, I can guarantee you that you're gonna building up lots of leg strength. The thing is we need to try to relax, yeah, you know, sinking your body and keeping the crown reaching up. Okay, so now we're taking a small step. Four with the ball of the foot touching ground. Heel. Good exercise, calf exercise. Good for your artery and your vein. Yeah, so once again, last one. Good stretching. But the thing is, while you're stretching here, I want this leg to be, try to relax because you're gonna rely on this leg for all the strength and the body weight. Coming back, oh, that's sore, which is good. Doing some resistant exercise and taking a step forward. Relax, yeah. And then heel touching ground. Once again, try to rely on this leg and relax on this muscle. And then the heel, once again, the ball of the foot, the heel of the foot. Ooh, last one. Everybody doing a good job. Coming back. Have you been breathing through? Your hand is a belly. Hopefully that reminds you. We need to breathe through, not just focusing on the legs and the feet. Next one, we're going to bring the hands here once again. Bending the knees. We're going to start it with the ankles. Yeah, so the same. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Take your pace, your rhythm, once again. And last one. Coming back. Transfer body weight slowly. Take your time. Settle first. Keep your body upright. Feel like you are on the top of the mountain with one leg supporting the body weight. Okay, so we're going to do the ankle exercise. Once again, in and out, relax shoulders, soft your belly, and last one. Very good, everybody. Now we're coming back, pressing the feet, pressing the feet, lifting up your head by sensing the lightness through your crown. And now we are up without using the knees. Very good, bring the foot together and give yourself a gentle shake. How are you doing, Luke? Thank you. Yeah, good, all right. Well, I feel I'm quite warm up, actually, and muscles getting stimulated and relaxed at the same time. So we're gonna start with the basic six Tai Chi moves, and then we'll end up with um, Tai Chi steel post. Good standing, good standing. Imagine your tray, sensing outside, just being at present, be still, and within the body, everything is happening. And you're the one who knows. You're the one who listens to your body and connecting with your body. So check your body with the crown reaching up, shoulder relaxed, chest relaxed. Let your breath to flow through to lower belly if you can or anywhere that you're comfortable with. Relax your hips, your buttock muscles, your knees, ankles. Be aware the sole of your foot connecting with the ground. Allow your arms totally high in there naturally. Relax all the joints in your finger. When you're ready, you're gonna take a small step by bending the right knee and still keeping your body posture sinking. Taking a step slowly, toe touching the ground, slowly transfer body weight, 20%, 40, and then 50. I start to do this a little bit more in detail because you've been with me for a few weeks and now we're getting a little bit more, we're challenging ourselves just a little bit more, more interesting. Inhale and exhale. 
breathe in breathe out so previously we are focusing on the hands I imagine the waves under the hands and we gently press that wave pick down and the peak of the wave push the hands up we gently press down you can extend this sensation through your whole body if you like you can run the current through the front and then running through the back coming through the toe up running through and then from the crown running down to your heels and using the gentle swing to add that flow sensation but also really think about our body made of more than 70% of fluid so we just stimulate our natural fluid through the body inhale exhale relax to the feet and last one give your neck a massage through the hands give your spine massage through the hands come in with the sweep so to the center and you can watch look if you like turn to the left body turn to the straight leg your hip your trunk your knee working together or relax your arms your shoulders your chest Jonathan good morning inhale exhale and Jody good morning good to see you here and doing the exercise revitalize the body and boost your energy it's wonderful breathe in and breathe out inhale and exhale imagine your hands and just play through the water water flows through your fingers inhale and exhale when you do exhale see the trunk turning your body relaxed through your intent through your imagination you can do so much and you can fully connect with your body inhale Good morning, Caroline. Good morning, Pauline. And change, turning. One more last on each side. Okay. See, I'm really stir the water. Now I see this ball on the surface. I bring the ball back to the center. Inhale. Ball expanding, even though I don't want to have my hands apart. And now I gently squeeze the ball. The sensation, imagine this magnetic field parting your hands. And imagine you try to push your hands together, but with that gentle resistance, very hard. But through your mindfulness, you can do it slowly. Inhale and exhale. This exercise we do two dimension. If that's okay with you, we're gonna to improve our heart lung, particular lung capacity through our center horizontal movement. At the same time, we're gonna breathe through the lower belly. We're gonna opening up horizontal and vertical both dimensions. Once again, inhale. and sensing the ball the texture of the ball and really sensing everything between your hands and last one relax sinking relax all right we're gonna hold
holding the ball, coming with this sensation, with turning the ball, rolling the ball in a vertical way. And you can sense the heaviness on the lower hands because you're holding the ball, the ball has weight. Upper hands, this bouncy feeling through the texture surface of the ball. I'm gonna to sense that and deep breathing. And then we can see the ball on each hand, the smaller ball, and lift one and press one at the same time, opposite direction. And coming back, inhale and exhale. This is a good exercise to really activate your spine, opening all the vertebrae from your crown down to your tailbone. At the same time, relax your shoulders using your intent, relax shoulders, and then press the feet down to stretch your body. Inhale and exhale. Relax shoulders. And knowing and visualizing your body like a tree, the feet, it's like the root of a tree grasping further down to the core of the earth, the branch reaching up to the sun, and the trunk is just keeping still and growing within. Once again, turning, inhale and exhale. this a little bit fun at the same time so what we're gonna do we're gonna turning our spine just a little bit more in the spiral motion up you see some of the trees outside well they're all different aren't they so this is a different one turning coming up and just relax sinking 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 turning sinking turning and then stretching through within last one sinking turning sinking relaxing and gently stretching through pressing the feet growing within I reach up to the sky coming down with the hand and we're going to change this time bring the hands together using our energy flow through the center breathe in and out small breath in a big long exhale so this one in Chinese traditional medicine called three burner. So we cover all the internal organs. And now we are floating down. So let the chi move through the center of the body. Inhale and then let it go like showering through the whole body, top to toes. Soft hands, moving the body, strengthening your lower muscle, lower body muscles. Inhale, exhale. Okay. Let it go, let it go. Still keep your body upright. And last one. You're reaching heaven and earth while you're the spiritual being in between coming up. Imagine, visualize you have a ball and then you gently press the ball Gently press the ball under the water. Holding this giant ball on both hands. And then just see the ball, visualize sensing the ball. Soft hands while using your body, whole body together to gently press the ball under the water. Good that you are using your hands, your eyes, your neck, your shoulder, your trunk, your hips, your knees, your feet, everything in the moment. Okay, last one. And your mind leads 
everything. Now we're coming up with big hugging tree pose. If you like the tree, like the nature, or if you like the ball, the balloon, whatever suits you, connects with you. Check your body posture once again, your feet, your knees, or the joints, body posture upright, relaxed. Visualize using some imagination. Imagine ball under your elbows to support you under your armpit to support your shoulders under your buttock support your upper body behind your knees to support your lower legs connecting with your feet getting that energy through the ground through the earth and the crown reaching up relax your thumb relax your fingers If the knee is getting a little bit tired, that's okay. You can always gently stretching up and then grounding down again. We're gonna to turn the palm and we will appreciate Acknowledge the air that we're living within, the energy within, the chi around us. Gently press down, slowly, slowly pressing your feet and lifting up your body through the crown. And then we will a little bit by walking your foot. Or if you can, you've got the strength, you can just bring the foot together. And the last time we're going to do one more body weight, body check. Breathing through abdomen. Imagine the water drops through your fingertips and flow from top to toes. And give yourself a gentle shake. Morning, Tony. How are you doing? Hope you're enjoying with us. And in this raining day, you can use the raindrops if you like. And you can use warm current for the body, whatever suits you and whatever you feel more connected with. All right, so that's a little bit warm up exercise with the basic Tai Chi moves. We will do this Tai Chi move set because we always have a new people coming through and I found that's very useful if it's the first time you get to know Tai Chi. At the same time, for the people who've been doing with us for a while, it's still a very, very uh, fundamental and uh, interesting basic Tai Chi move. Because like I said before, like an onion, you know, you peel the onion different layers, and you have different tastes. So for this one, just every time I get so much more out of it. And then next time, you know, I would get something different. All right, I hope you enjoy so far and we'll have a quick break. You can have some water if you like or go to toilet, have a break, whatever it is for you. I'm going to grab a chair and just work on one or two moves, show people how to maintain doing Tai Chi at the same time, keep safe. And if you need a chair to assist to you, no problem. Okay, all right. chair here. This is a flexible thing. See, if I have to face you, I can bring the chair this way, right? So when we did the, we did the bouncing the ball, we did that. And you could lean if, if you have something that quite high that you feel that your hip is, can be supported, you can lean slightly on the side. But the thing is we try to allow you to also have that strength or train that strength uh, gradually that means just for this to be here give you um, a safe sensation you may already be able to do it 
without using it. So it's just a backup. So if you need or if you can sense that okay without using much but just as a backup. When you're doing that, I want, still want you to have a good body posture. Important. Yeah, so or you're holding it, you can do one side. Yeah, one side. The idea is to be slow. That's the challenge. Be slow. Be slow. Allow your mind to work, connect, lead with your body. So up. See that is mind coming up to give you that intent. Lift and then press. When you press, imagine hands with the ball underneath. And you can also have a ball under your foot. You know those little playful thing that you press and have a bang, right? So whatever that's for you. So you use your imagination, activate all the central nerve system. That's one side. Another side the same. Do this one here and keep your body structure once again up and down. If this is fun, oh I'm alright. Or you can do crunch. Yeah, it's very flexible. Another thing is we did before was this one. Right, so we could do this one, and then once you're gradually building up strength on one leg, you can leave it and you know, just as a backup. Depends on your personal situation and your condition. All right, so that's a little bit break. I'm gonna invite Luke back. Now, we'll start with our um, we'll start with our Taiji for beginner 12 form, the part one. Okay, so where were we last time? Single whip. Single whip? So we did the single uh, whip and we did playing the playing the lute. Yeah, playing the lute. Alright, so we had playing lute which we very briefly touched last week. Normally we will repeat the whole thing and just give people an overview, particularly for people who come here for the live stream first time. So you know the little sequence. So we're going to do the same today, we're going to do it and then we'll focus on the new movement called Plain Lute. It's a beautiful movement. I'll show you later. Alright, good standing once again. Let's take a step. Be aware, body will transfer slowly. Come you back to the center. Grounding the body. Inhale. Exhale. Through the side. Push slightly forward. Extend your arms. Inhale. Long exhale. Open. Close. Sinking the body. Rolling the ball. Turning to the left. Rolling the ball. Turning to the right. See the leg turning to the straight leg. We turn the right toes inward. Turn the trunk hip. Let the hands with the rotation of your wrist. Still imagine the ball. Take a step. Small step, roll the foot down, parting hand, ward off. Extend your hand to the left and roll back. Breathe in, breathing out, and forward. Half step. Slowly, slowly transfer body weight on the back leg, sinking, relax. Moving your right hand towards right rear. Change hand to a hook. Relax the arm. Taking a small step, very small step. Forward, turning the left palm down. Inhale, exhale. The next one, half step continue, half step follow. Slowly foot down, sinking. Opening hand, relax the shoulder, turn the trunk left, 
right, inhale, exhale. And the end, if this is the end, we're always making sure we close properly. So that's, that's the first time, the overview. And the second time, what I want to do is, maybe we'll just do a quick, quick go through again, but maybe I'll let Luke to come in the front. So I'll do the whole back. Yeah, so you can see my back. The last part, the plain lute, just want to show you this one in detail and we're going to work just slightly on the foot. I wear my white shoes today, hopefully you know, give you a little bit clear view on how your foot will move. Another thing is take the time um, and, and really sense, you know, I mean maybe there's tension, maybe something else, maybe it's relaxation, uh, whatever it is. You first acknowledge it and then work with it and then eventually want to get into that strength with relaxation so when we did the single wave when we did the single wave so see you do need strength which is you know important that we do have and when you taking a half step what happened you run on the front leg right and then foot down slowly that need focus concentration and then we put the foot down take the time transfer body weight rocking roll gentle swing open the hand let the body sink so you are steady 
In a rush, turn the trunk using your body. So coming to the left, left hand moving back, right hand to the front. And now left hand to the front, right hand withdraw. And then slightly turn the trunk to the right. And then lift the left toe, the foot, just to get the position right. And back to the center. And sink in here. It might be sore here, but we'll get better. And breathe. And when you finish, always taking a step and close properly. Whether that's just a big circle up, a small circle, doesn't matter. But allow the chi flow through the body. Imagine you're taking a shower and let it go through the body. And then back with foot together and check your body posture once again. So that's the moment. So what I do is I'm going to make my back facing you just one more last time and give you that trunk view. Hopefully it's important. Hopefully you can, you can be relaxed and sensing strength at the same time. So with this single whip, half step, Put down, relax, open hands, trunk turn to the left, trunk turn slightly to the right, and lift the left foot, sinking back to the center. And I think that's all for today. Thank you everyone. I hope you enjoy and I'd love to see you again next week. Very, very well done. Feeling extremely relaxed here in the theater. I had to wake up Sean, he's just starting to snore and that was, I was afraid people were gonna hear. Beautiful, beautiful feeling we have here and I'm sure you're having that at home as well. That last move, a little bit tricky. Yes. Um, but I'm sure if you keep practicing, you will get that move down pat. Please remember that um, all of these sessions, we save them on video, and you can access the videos by visiting the Marion Cultural Center Facebook page and clicking on the videos, and you will see all the videos that we have done with the Moving at Home with Move at Marion and all the other fantastic shows that have been um, happening here at the theater as well. So please, don't just do your Tai Chi or your general fitness class live. Go back and revisit it a couple times each week and that way you've got something to do every day to keep yourself active and you can practice your Tai Chi moves, particularly the, what was it called, that last one? Play lute. Playing lute. Playing lute. Yeah, move. imagine it's a music instrument and you are, you know, you're, sh you're shaking, you're swaying within the body. Yeah. Finding that music rhythm, yeah, that yeah. relaxation, yeah. yeah, very nice. Just curious, I'm going to ask you to put you on the spot. What's your favorite move that you do of all of the moves? I think that is one of. I yeah. mean, this is one of my favorite ones. It's very hard to see one favorite, but this is one of my favorite. One of your favorites. It's yeah. because you really grounding and centering yourself. You're not really doing much with your arms. Mm. And you can have that chi move in this. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. can see why. What about yourself, Luke? Um, opening and closing the ball. Yeah, I love that one too. I yeah. think it really allows you to practice the visualization aspect and really visualize that ball so you're not just waving your arms about, but you have a ball. You're visualizing what kind of ball it is, what the texture of the ball, what the ball feels like, how hot it is, is it sweaty, is it wet, is it... And it gives you so much to think about because the movement itself is quite simple mm. and once we get past the micromanagement of the muscles, you can really start to focus on that visualization and it'll just... feels amazing in the palms. Yeah. It yeah. feels amazing. Yeah, I love that move too. I also love, um, what is it, you do this and then... I saw you. I saw I you. Love were, that you were one. doing with us there, um, opening up. Opening up, yeah. and then just really releasing. Yeah, and it's really very nice. So thank you for that wonderful session once again. Thank you. Please um, continue to uh, offer your comments up about what you thought of the session. Um, 
whether you liked my bling earlier today and whether you'd like us to go back to bling Tai Chi on occasion, we'd be happy to do that for you as well. Um, and also, you might not know the names of the moves, but if you want to tell us what your favorite move is as well, we would love to hear that too. So thank you for joining us this morning. Uh, I saw we got up to about 35 people, did it set about right? And we stayed about 30 to 35 the whole time, which is great numbers. So, um, and we had a couple of new people today too, which was lovely as well. And some old friends, people who've become old friends for us too. So it's great to see you coming back uh, session after session and joining in with us. I'm sure you're experiencing the benefits of that as well in your life. So Fung and Luke will be back here, same place, same time next week, Friday at 10 a.m. And don't forget, we've got a general fitness session that we do Wednesday mornings at 10 a.m. as well with Kay. So please keep joining in with us um, and please share these um, sessions with your friends as well so they can join in with us too. Have a fabulous weekend. Um, stay safe, enjoy the beautiful rain. We can never get too much rain here in the driest state on the driest continent. So just enjoy it and have a fabulous weekend and we'll see you next week. Thank you very much. Thank you.